Hi again everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. We've got a very interesting kind of a fantasy bullet made out of polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is also known as Lexan, not to be confused with plexiglass, and it's a very tough material. Okay, the bulletproof glass bullet. I mean, it's awesome, man. Let's see how she loads. I don't know about these, man, if they're gonna fly straight or not. Today we'll be shooting at the same material, a sheet of quarter inch polycarbonate. Okay, bulletproof bullet shot one, hit it. See the wadding hit it. Where the round went, I don't know. We were shooting at a distance of only about 20 yards or approximately 18 meters away. And that's such a close distance, you really wouldn't even have to aim to hit this thing with a normal round. Now we've seen weird things like this before with lightweight projectiles. And probably what's happening is the round's own shock wave is hitting that plate and actually pushing the projectile around the plate. And it's just really weird to see that happening. Now we'll move the target to about 10 yards away, and we'll see if we can hit it this time. There you go. Fragmentation. There you go. <laughs> it's stretched that. Look at that. That's. Can this thing even focus on that? It looked like it was almost going straight too. Now this round weighed about half an ounce or about 12 grams. And typically a round that's made out of say steel or lead but weighs the same amount. It's not so much affected by drag and uh, the weird shock wave reflections and all that stuff. The good news is we recovered one of the rounds and you can see that it actually survived. It just uh, a little bit of damage and uh, it, I, I thought it would probably shatter or the target would shatter. If you want a little souvenir from this video, um, we're gonna be auctioning off this round. Just send me a PM with a bid and uh, of course shipping is extra and I'll throw in a Tau Flater Mouse sticker. I'm gonna end the auction in about a week. If you haven't seen the video of the mini arrow that Tim Hamilton also created, be sure to check that out. I've kind of come to the conclusion that Tim is kind of an evil genius guy. He's an excellent prototype machinist and he's coming up with all kinds of insane shotgun rounds and even rifle rounds that he'll be testing also. So be sure to subscribe to him.